how is everyone doing this morning? Um, there's a couple things I want to discuss. I have OCD with this thing, I tell you. Hold on one second. How was your St. Patty's Day? How was your Sunday? Was the leprechaun reading not cute or was it cute? Um, so yesterday I just kind of relaxed. Okay, you guys know I've got a million things going on and still do. Um, it never stops for me. Um, there were some things I wanted to discuss this morning, though, as far as where we're going this week. Okay, there's a lot going on this week with me personally. And I do know that there's also demands that need to be met with you guys as well. First off, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support, all the love, all the comments. Just thank you so much. What I do need from the viewers, what I do need from my subscribers, and I know it's a lot to ask, but I do need more likes, more comments, and definitely more subscribers. Because this platform is trying to grow. It's a very new channel. It's in the baby stages. Um, and as you know, numbers equals power, okay? We need unity. We need to come together. This channel needs love and support, watering to grow. It's just like a plant. It needs nurturing. It needs love. And I know we can get there. I know it. So I'm sitting here this morning drinking chai tea, which is one of my favorites. This is turmeric chai tea. And I'm glad I can do my turmeric now because at least once a month for about seven days, I can't do turmeric or cinnamon or any of that or ginger because of the simple fact, ladies, if you know, you know, all right. But I'm glad I can do it this morning. All right, we do need to jump on Jocelyn update. We do need to jump on Madeline's update. Um, and I, again, we'll be putting these updates up um, often so you know what's going on or where we're going. Um, I just, again, completed the Sebastian Rogers, so check that out as well. I want to go into something I didn't put on the update yesterday because it was kind of depressing and we were kind of celebrating, um, you know, St. Patrick's Day yesterday. Now, you know, the spirits never leave me alone. So they're still steering me in the direction as far as the Wayne Williams case. Um, I want to explain something. This, I don't want to call him a man. This monster, Wayne Williams, okay? Because we've read him, we know him. These are not allegations. We've read the guy. We've read the reading. We've read the case. These are not just assumptions, right? We got what we got from the spirits also. If someone has ever had an encounter, this is what I've noticed, okay, with Wayne Williams, they will never forget it. That is how much of a negative impact that he had just being around people. Now imagine the children, but around adults, okay? Not only were adults troubled by his uh, aura, if you will, but so were children. Children that have ran into Wayne Williams back in the day, never forget it. Adults who have ran into Wayne Williams back in the day have never forgot it. There is something about his spirit, you guys, that just sets impacts off. 
not everyone has that empathic radar, okay? But there are some people who have ran into him personally who will tell you to this day, we're now in 2024, will tell you to this day that there was something about him something about them that troubled their spirit. And this is coming from children at that time and also adults, okay? Does that not, I want to say, intrigue you and also make you feel like there's no way that this man or monster is, is totally innocent in this case, in this situation, there's no way. I know a lot of people feel like, oh, they were picking on him. He tried to pull the racist card, you know. And not to say that you can't pull a racist card in Georgia. Okay? But, no. Because there were too many, not only sightings of him. But confessions um, of people that have been around him, um, that know what they know about the guy, okay? Had this have been a great guy people were picking on just because of his race, I really think, people, that something inside of us would have told us that, Right? But there is something totally off about the guy. And not saying narcissism is a crime, because it's really not a crime. Is it a dysfunction? Is it evil? Is it a disability? Yes. Is it a crime? No. It's not against the law to be a narcissist. It should be, but it's not. With that said, we have to go past his personality because you can't charge people off personality all right you can't throw people in jail for two life sentences because they're weird but i know what i know and i know that wayne williams has something to do with the disappearances and murders of those children i'm gonna leave it there if you want to do your own research and match up what I'm saying with people that have ran into him, children and adults, please feel free because to this day, adults cry about the occurrence because it's that traumatic. There's something really wicked about his spirit, okay? I feel it. A lot of strong empaths have to feel it. You have to feel it. And I feel like there were some parents who did feel it and warned the children, but they were just being hard-headed like some, some children are. And keep in mind, a lot of these children saw Wayne Williams behind their parents' backs despite them saying, look, there's something off about this guy. I don't want you around him. Right? There was one spirit I picked up that definitely told me that happened. Okay. So, respecting your parents and obeying can save your life, as you know. Um, and there is totally something off about the guy. All right. Again, narcissism is not what I feel like he should be in jail for for two life sentences. I mean, it's not a bad thing to me, but it's just not logical, you know? We want to go by facts. We want him in jail because of facts, because of evidence, and everyone deserves that justice. Why they're not presenting the facts after finding dog hairs, fibers, you know, yada, yada, yada. I don't know what's the hold up with the new DNA testing. I can tell you what I think. 
that evidence is going to blow your mind. That's what. Now, again, we know Wayne Williams is the fall guy. We know he has something to do with something. He's not innocent by a long shot. Do I feel like he killed all those kids? No. Absolutely not. Do I feel like he had a hand in some? Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like I know which particular ones the more I go into the list. Now, again, as you know, a lot of them children didn't make the list. So there's even more children that were murdered and missing that we don't even know about. All right. We will be doing the Jocelyn. We will update um, all my beautiful people in Africa. Beautiful, beautiful people. Um, we will get down to it all the way from the States looking into what's going on in Africa, which as you know, that's the true gift. How in the world do I know what's going on in Africa way over here? But the reading is going to let us know what's going on. Aside from that note, there's some things going on in the world, um, we're not really going through inflation, people. We're going through greed. This is just straight up greed. That all these places want to charge more and give us trash quality. And you know what I'm talking about, right? So I've just been kind of, you know, cooking at home. I love sushi. I do not like sashimi. I can't even pronounce it right sashimi i don't like um raw things okay i have learned that about myself but i love love sushi and i couldn't find my sushi kit y'all so i caught myself making hand rolls yesterday a hot mess i need more practice i'll be glad when my rollers get here because i have no idea what i'm doing but i just folded them like sandwiches and cut them and watched Leprechaun 5, Leprechaun 4, and just kind of chilled out yesterday, so. The sushi uh, story is very funny, actually. But it was still delicious. I put, um, what was it, salmon, cucumber, uh, sesame seed, sushi rice, avocado, had a little yum yum on the side, you know, had it pretty much going on in my own way so you know there you have it but again people i do need i need those likes subscribes and also comments coming up how can we reach the masses without unity and support what else am i trying to remember Again, I have a lot going on this week. I don't want to feel rushed. I don't want to feel like, oh, I, you know, anytime I feel like that during a reading, it's not going to turn out good. It's not. <clears throat> Me and pressure don't get along. It just doesn't. Um, so now I was looking at some things. Um, I'm not here to advertise. I don't even care about companies or products, trust me. Some are good, though. I won't lie. Um... <clears throat> Some are not. But um, now they're having this big thing about, you know, Amazon to move this and that. Y'all, I mean, this is ridiculous. Do you kind of feel like the only places you can go is kind of like Amazon, Walmart? Like when you Google things to buy, you know, Target these major companies seem like they don't want new companies to come in and kind of do their thing and i, I don't i don't agree with that you know what i mean and um, i this is what i see if you disagree i'm sorry i'm not trying to step on toes or get anyone upset or anything because some people love amazon some people love target some people love you know these places i'm mentioning but i feel like 
I just don't want to just shop at Amazon. I don't. I just don't want to just shop at Target. I don't just want to shop at um, Walmart. Which I'm scared to death to go to Walmart. I'm not even going to lie. Maybe if they had better security, I would, you know, consider. There are some things I've seen in Walmart, y'all. I've had to take a step back, okay? I remember this one time I went to Walmart. This was years ago when I actually would go. And there was a woman walking a man like a dog, y'all. He, She had the leash around his neck and was walking him around the store. Now look, I don't care what you do in your bedroom or what you do at your house or what your little kinks are, right? But I feel it's so inappropriate. Now this is me to come out in public around children and families who are shopping just to go get a roast to cook for Sunday dinner or just to get a, a chicken to fry for Sunday dinner. Or, you know, they're just going to get what they need and you have to actually watch the dominatrix on live TV. Now, maybe that's some people's thing. It's just not mine, okay? I don't want to see that when I'm out grocery shopping. I really, really don't. Um, That's when I really was like, okay, I'm done. Walmart, you have taken me way too far down the road and they absolutely said nothing to them they even all went on in the subway there was a subways in there and she had him sit in the corner y'all like a dog and obey and i was just like i wanted a sub but you know what i don't even want it now um <clears throat> just straight up ridiculous i don't want to shop nowhere like that i don't that's just too much going on, okay? And I'm already dealing with other things, and I feel like you want to go grocery shopping, get the little stuff you need. You don't want to watch HBO After Dark, all right? So I was like, okay, that's it, Walmart. I've had it. And ever since that dreadful day, that's where my heart has been, like I'm over Walmart. So, um... I'm sorry for those who love Walmart. If it's your thing, I'm sorry. I've also tried their delivery service. I said, well, okay, if I'm not comfortable going in, I'll just, you know, use their delivery service. Wrong. Okay. When the delivery guy came, all he did was hit on me the whole time. I'm like, listen, I just want my stuff. I'm not really trying. I said, well, not only can I not shop at Walmart, I see I can't even get things delivered. So ever since then, I was just like, okay, Walmart, me and you just ain't getting along. Um, don't get me wrong, they have everything under the sun, okay? If you're looking for something nine times out of ten, you can find it at Walmart. Or you can find it at Amazon. Or maybe even certain Targets, Okay. But I just don't feel like, why do should we feel like these are the main places that we have to go to be consumers? And then when new people come out or new businesses, they want to get rid of them, okay? Because of the competition. It's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. But I know it's business and it's companies, how they, how they do their thing. It's politics, you know? And I, I get it, but I'm just like over it is what I'm saying. All right, pretty soon I am going to get into the Jocelyn reading. I just wanted to shoot base with you guys this morning, let you know everything's cool. My voice is up. Y'all should be able to hear me a lot better. If you cannot hear me again on any videos, please feel free to use headphones, earbuds. We even have subtitles, y'all. Come on, we can do this, okay? Okay. There's other ways around when readers' voices are down. I've had to do it. There's a couple readers. I'm like, I can't hear a thing she's saying. I go and get my uh, kick A, you know, headphones, put them on. Okay, now I'm in the reading. Now I can do this, you know. 
not a big deal, people. All right, let's go into our positive cards. These are mindful messages. I should be getting some more cards soon, too. The last thing I thought were really cute. They were just cute, you guys. And, um, I have a collection. I'm probably going to have a big box full of these cards. But, um, let's get our positivity in for today. Let's do it. Because these readings can be so depressing and so dark, y'all. This channel is also about the light. We're not just doing stuff to be on the dark web, you know what I mean? We're, we're not going that far into darkness. We're going to put some light in this channel as well. <clears throat> because these spirits that we're reading that have crossed over, um, they want light as well. They don't, they don't want to do that. All right. Here we go, people. Intentions. Today is a fresh start. And it is, and I feel that in my spirit. It's Monday. Everybody says, I'm going to get started on Monday. I'm going to start on Monday. No matter how my day was yesterday, forget about it. No matter how bad you made the sushi, it's okay. I can make a today whatever I want. This is manifestation. This is your power. My intention for the day is, what is it? I would say for me, it's um, getting these things done. I need to get some things done. I got a busy week, y'all. So, viewers, fill in the blank. Write your intention and take this card behind your door. Well, you don't have a card, but just write it down and tape it. So you may remember as you leave your house. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it. Sounds good to me. And now we're going to get into our telepathy. So I like that word telepathy. I like the word phenomena too. <laughs> I, I just think they're so um, <clears throat> spiritual. I like the word. Okay. As you can see, voice is trying to come back. Stronger than ever. Let me still drink this tea. <clears throat> you know what I think it is to people when you talk every day? It, it can get a little hectic. I wonder if singers go through that too. But, um, all right. Um, we're into <clears throat> telepathy. Oh, surprise, surprise. All right, surprise. I, I kind of like surprises and I kind of don't. You know what I mean? I think there's a lot of anxiety with surprises. Like, what in the world is this about to be, you know? Um, you may be surprised. So, what in the world y'all got going on today? Hmm. I might need a little shocking in my life. A little excitement. All right. Gloomy day, but we might have some good luck in the woodworks. Not sure. All right. So let's do cosmic insight, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. Moving. Mm. You know, I've heard this in past readings. Moving, I don't like moving. I don't like change. I'm a tourist. I don't like it. I get very stable and um, comfortable. Unfortunately, it can be a good and bad thing, y'all. So. Moving, change of residence, moving in with your partner. Y'all got some lovers y'all get ready to move in with? Now, as a reader, I'm going to tell you, I don't know how many stories I've heard where people have moved in with people and regretted it. So, always double check to make sure if that's the decision that you really want to make. You know what I mean? Because that can cost you. For sure. I always have a backup plan. I always have money saved up. I always do this. Okay? 
All right. I'm going to get some more tea in me, kind of lollygag a little bit, and then I want to get into Jocelyn. I want to get into it. What am I feeling about that? Oh, Lord. Hold on, people. What am I feeling about that? Because it's really strange. Jocelyn, what's going on with you, sweetheart? get the transition card first but we're gonna go into the reading before we stamp approve anything all right i'm gonna do this professional we have a lot of people with their hearts into this all the way in africa as well all over the world and we want to be mindful of people's emotions all right well with that said y'all Let's start the day with those intentions we were talking about. As you know, this is crime TV and we keep it going no matter what. Um, <clears throat> of course, I'm dealing with you know what on this channel, but we're going to keep going because that's what we do. And meet me back here later because I'm praying I can get this Jocelyn thing out for y'all. Let me know, let me know, all right? Let's get these likes, shares, subscribes, subscriptions, whatever, and comments up, y'all. We need the platform, we need the power, all right? Only we can do this together. It's gonna take more than one person to get the word out there about these cases and about um, these unfortunate souls, okay? All right, with that said, donation links are up as well. Love you guys. Love you, love you, love you. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.